Hey everybody, Hayden from Connect here. Thanks for tuning in. So this is part two of our video tutorial on how to have a slicer, a date slicer, and calculate dates for multiple columns. Um, previous video, we talked about how to build a date series. Badly spelt date series, well, let me just change that there. Date series. So what we need to do first of all is have an independent date series, okay? So if you don't know how to do that, watch the previous video and jump back in here. So the challenge that we have is that we have an, an order date here. If I filter by order date in the same table, I've also got shipping date over here. If I have shipping year and month, done that wrong again. If I add it into the right table. Okay, you can see that for the orders that were placed in the first first month of 2018, I've got some that span into um, February that were shipped. So the challenge that we're doing here is we want a single date slicer here and to be able to calculate the shipped cost, the order cost, and the cost of product on based on the delivery date, three multiple dates. But that doesn't work in this relationship. So but key thing, get your date series set up. Yeah, this is, I've built a relationship here. So I want this to filter both ways. And it's based on the order date and the date here. Okay. Now, what I need to do, if I want to use the shipping date, I want to look at the volume that was shipped out of the warehouse for that date. I have to then build another relationship here to date. As you can see, this has a dotted line here. Just bring that up. You'll see that it's set. This is not an active relationship, which is fine. Because we've now built the relationship between the shipping date and date, we can actually use that in DAX code. Right, so first things first, what I want to do is calculate in a measure total cost. Add new measure, so total cost. So this we're going to use some cost. So I have that measure there. Okay, so whenever I I just remove this here. Put a slice in there that shows you from the date series period. So this now, this here is looking at the date series. So again, still, when I select 2018-1, I can see there that I've still got issues with the ship data. So now that I've created a total cost, we'll bring that, we'll find that measure. So if I bring this measure into this table here, you can see the total cost matches. Now, what if I wanted to do total cost based on the shipping date? Yeah. So let's build a new measure. So new measure. Call this total cost shipping date. Didn't need that speech block there. So that equals. Now, in a previous video, again, we talked about the calculate function. Um, please have a look at, at, at calculate. It, this is this is such such a brilliant function within DAX. It will almost become part of your Bible. So have a look at a previous video if you don't know fun calculate too well. Uh, I will do a video just on calculate coming soon. So what I want to do again, calculate. I want to sum the cost. Shipping cost. All right, now there's a filter here, and in that filter, what I'm going to do is refer to the unused relationship. So, use relationship, and what we have is the date series, date here, and the shipping date. Let's bracket. 
So what what this is telling Pavio and what we to do, it's go and sum that cost table, um, but ignore the primary relationship that's set up. Use a relationship on the date and shipping date. So if I drag that into here, let's just get rid of this ship cost. You will see that there's a slight variance there. So the good news is that it's less because most of some of the volume would have been shipped in the following month. And my data only goes back to 2018, uh, January. So that's how you do it. That's how you can create a filter with using measures to filter other dates, other ranges within your table. Um, so you can build as many inactive relationships as you like. So we could have done this for the delivery date. To date. You're not limited to one or two. Okay. And you could use in your DAX measures that we've just seen there with that use relationship, really powerful tool. And uh, just have a practice, have a play, get used to it. It will really give you some flexibility in your data model. You, you, your reports will become much less rigid. Okay, so that's the tutorial. Thanks for listening. And, uh, please like and subscribe if you like these videos. More content will be coming. If you've got any ideas or suggestions for future videos, please drop them in the comments. Thank you very much. Goodbye.